think public uh, work is so important, making the case for public services as part of Canada's economic solution. Being active in promoting think public solutions is a job that we all have to take. It's not just Robin Benson or myself or the executive of the union, it's every member that has to be involved in, in this process. We need to, uh, uh, to uh, bolster our members to, to be prepared for lobbying, mobilizing, communicating, building out allies and taking action. And we need to do this uh, 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 at every opportunity, uh, given the challenges that we're going to be facing. We need to also be strong and mobilized membership, able to withstand attacks because the ground has really shifted. And this shift that has been taking place for over a year now. The recession brought about by capitalism run amok, by corporate greed, left unchecked by governments, has allowed these same uh, players to call for more cuts and more deregulation. The same corporate cronies that created this mess are now making the case and making it strongly that all of the things that we fought so hard for, pensions, benefits, decent wages, uh, even the right to unionize, are too expensive and should be sold off to pay for the recession. All of us know that's a bunch of crap. But the media, employer community, and our conservative government are buying the idea, and workers are paying the price. Workers all across this country, in the public sector and the private sector. No sector is immune. Just look at the auto or the pulp and paper uh, industry, the hospital services uh, and social uh, services sector. All workers and all unions are facing these attacks. And within the PSEC, regional and national, all members are facing some form of attack. No one has all the answers, but having members mobilized and ready to take action in support of Think Public will help us maintain a strong and relevant union in these tough economic times. And I say remain because we've done well, despite the recession and economic meltdown, to negotiate quality collective agreements, to organize new members, and to fight off attacks. But we can't sit back. We need to be stronger. The attacks are going to increase and become even more vicious than they already are. 